soalan yang seterusnya Okay so tadi kita dah tanyakan pasal cara hidup dia Dah tanyakan cerebral sedikit pasal diri dia So sekarang ni Zati nak tanya orang Pernah tak orang dapat soalan Terutama sekali yang wanita Okay pernah tak orang dapat soalan Macam kenapa pakai tudung Kenapa control yourself kan And ini reaksi daripada mereka This question is for Iman Iman, have you ever experienced that people asking you, kenapa you pakai tudung? Ada. Okay, it was masa first year and my group mate macam tanya, um, why are you wearing the, that thing on your head? Macam, uh, if you're here, not in your home country, you can just take it off. And I macam, okay, uh, that's a very challenging question. I pun tak ingat apa I jawab, I just said that Because I really accept the religion as it is, so I'll, I'll just continue. Although memang kat sini macam tempting, you just, sometimes you just not, you know, tak ada your parents, ah, uh, tak ada your parents, tapi it's all up to you. And then macam, my friend, uh, my friend that time, she, yang tanya tu, dia macam tanya I, oh, um, so you are not forced, you are willingly to wear it, but then kalau, macam you ada anak later on will you actually force your daughter to actually wear it and i'm cha- i macam terdiam i really tak tahu nak cakap apa especially you're just a week you baru kenal orang and then suddenly people are like asking those kind of questions yeah and plus when you're like wearing tudung orang tahu you are muslim so sometimes um there are people yang macam uh don't want to talk to you macam nampak dia orang tak suka you it's normal but not everyone's like that most people in Cardiff are very friendly sebab muslims are really everywhere you guys so restricted from doing this from doing that maybe in terms of food or in terms of social life you want of you well ada ada je um Segelintir rakan kelas saya yang tanya kenapa uh, kadang-kala kalau makan luar bersama mereka perlu ambil tahu atau ayam tu halal ke tak, daging tu halal ke tak. Uh, pada mereka ada segelintir Muslim di sini, mereka mazhab mereka berbeza dan um, Uh, mereka lebih terbuka dan um, mengikut pada mazhab kita perlu tahu bahawa um, ada batas tentang halal dan haram uh, walaupun kadang benda tu macam remeh je tapi kalau boleh kita cari makanan yang halal kita cari makanan yang halal kalau tidak um, kita usahakan cara yang lain ada seafood so We still can mingle around with um, the locals here, pelajar-pelajar yang lain. Tapi kita kena jaga lah batas kita as a Muslim. Uh, I have ke- come across uh, this years where a friend of mine, she's Chinese from China. She used to ask me, like, oh, you can't eat halal, f- uh, you can't eat. Uh, this chicken and I would say like no because it's not halal it's not halal and then she will ask me what is what do you mean by what is what is halal and then I had to explain the whole thing so um when you talk about control yourself I don't think um any of my friends have ever asked me but maybe like my parents would advise me like they sent me to UK and at, at, at a young age of 18 they would say to me pada pandailah jaga diri kat situ you know what is wrong and what is right so like what like apa yang you makan tu pada pandailah you know whether it's halal you makan lah kalau tak halal tu eat lah so basically i feel like control yourself is really up to the individual like yes people can influence you but it's really up to them whether they want to follow or keep to their like keep to their stand about what do they believe and what not Okay, so itu pendapat uh, mereka lah kan. So, uh, dari segi bertudung tu, dia kata macam tak ada masalah sangat. Just macam first week tu je sebab, ya, yeah, sebab ada certain orang. Tapi dekat Kaldif tu, memang um, everywhere boleh nampak Muslim kat sana. So, bab yang control yourself tu je lah. And Iman tu sendiri kata, 
agak tempting juga kat sana okey disebabkan macam um, kenapa orang tanya dia kenapa dia bertudung and then he was uh, dia macam okey dia macam agak ter uh, tergoda juga disebabkan kat sana tak ada parents jadi faham sangat perasaan tu okey so um, soalan seterusnya jadi dia tanya dia so macam bila berlaku serangan keganasan dekat situ kan Pernah tak orang try untuk salahkan mereka Sebab mereka ni merupakan orang Muslim So pernah tak orang rasa tak selamat Sebab orang lokal kat sana akan serang korang Ataupun serang Muslim dekat sana Untuk revenge ha, Untuk revenge bahasa Melayu balas dendam okay? And ini reaksi daripada mereka Because of the terrorism that, that is happening Bagi saya Um people in Cardiff is not that very narrow minded yang mereka tidak menyalahkan satu sesuatu orang kerana religion dan kepercayaan mereka um, so from my point of view it's like not everyone is the same so maksudnya bagi saya macam kalau di tempat yang yang di tempat lain mungkin ada tapi di tempat kami di Cardiff um, mereka mempunyai pendapat yang yang sangat bagus dan dia orang ada mindset yang sangat bagus so ini bukanlah masalah bagi kami speaking like no one have ever came up to me about um any terrorist but um example like ISIS cuz when i first came to UK i did my foundation in 2015 and that was the time where all the terrorists like ISIS for example came came out so but I don't know, people don't really attack me, I guess, but I have friends who, especially who wear hijab, like in Manchester or London, they get like attacked like verbally regarding, just because they, they wear hijab and they know that you're a Muslim, so they, they think that it's right for them to actually attack you that way, but actually it's not, so... I would say that not all parts of UK is like that. I think it's just certain cities, like major ones like Manchester or London that I've ever heard or read the news about. So far, tak ada. But there's, there's this one time, naik Uber and that person was just telling us to like be careful because you wear the hijab. Just take care because there were cases. So, tu je lah kot. Okay, so uh, macam uh, orang dari apa yang Zati boleh simpulkan sekarang ni macam orang-orang dekat Cardiff ni macam baik lagi. Diorang still macam care lagi dengan pelajar-pelajar Muslim dekat situ. 